you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently for your life. Listen, listen, you better get angry now, Leon. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I told you, Mike. MMA fighters don't have nicknames. That's a common misconception and people tend to think that fighters randomly pick up an alias in an attempt to come across a school or whatnot. But a nickname is part of the identity of an athlete. And a moniker is something that resonates with the fighter on some level. Robbie Lawler is ruthless. Colby Covington is chaos incarnate. Anderson Silva is a marvel of Muay Thai. Conor McGregor is notorious. But how the hell do you live up to the moniker of Rocky? Ask Leon Edwards maybe we'll give you a tip or two. He had to just keep doing what he had to do and uh, just prove people wrong time and time again and do all that type of stuff. And, but a, a big win over someone like Usman, I think he's going to be very uh, respected, yeah? Leon Edwards is one of the classiest dudes in the MMA world. And if you hear him talk, you think that the guy never had a problem in his entire life. Early on in his career, Edwards refrained from shedding lights on his personal life and what brought him to the MMA game. But in recent years, he has opened up about his life prior to his MMA career. And, well, it makes sense why his friends bestowed the name Rocky upon him. In the area I grew up in, there was like gang wars. Being around like crime and guns and shooting. I lost count from people I've known that's like murdered. Leon Edwards was born and raised in Jamaica. According to the man himself, he had come across so much violence and misery that he was desensitized to the sound and stench of gunfire, even as a kid. Tragedy struck Edwards at the age of 14 when his father was shot dead in a nightclub. By his own admission, this incident messed him up and Leon spent his teen years fighting on the street, flirting with crime and gang life. Well, I saw that when he was young, so one of my parents had to play a ball throw. Especially being in a foreign country as well. She's a tough woman, but she's been for a lot, you know? At the age of 17, Edwards stumbled upon an MMA gym in his area. And he embarked on a career that saved his life. I was age 16, 17. Edwards suggested MMA. I was like, cool, I'll give it a go for you. She signed me up and then I just fell in love with it. Mixed martial arts was his solace. And in a span of a few months, he picked up a number of amateur victories and decided that God put him on earth to fight as a mixed martial artist. In 2014, Edwards inked a deal with UFC top fight promotion and set his sights on gold. He racked up victories but the championship glory eluded him due to one reason or another. The UFC was unlike any other promotion in the world and while it enjoyed the most prestige, it was a business and not a pure sport. Leon Edwards was not liked by the corporate bigwigs. His fights were not well received by the fans and Dana White barely acknowledged his body of work. We've got a welterweight there in Leon Edwards maybe that you could uh, have a little bit of a fight with. Who's that? Leon Edwards? I've never heard of him. Nobody else wants to fight this guy. Um, he accepts the fight. The fight keeps falling out. The welterweight division was populated with personalities such as Woodley, Covington, Masvidal, with prospects such as Hamza Chimaev. Edwards was often on the sidelines, wasting away his prime as the more vocal fighters were afforded rematches. He was relegated to fighting on the undercard. At this stage, most fighters would rise up against the tyranny of the UFC and consequently kiss their title aspirations goodbye. But Edwards kept grinding through the struggles. Fans thought he was weak in front of Masvidal. You're just a loser in life, man. You're not gonna get a hit off me. You know? Fans blasted him as a cheater in the Bilal fight. Oh, you know, no. Fans. <laughs> 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 Leon Edwards 
Leon made his way through the struggles and he finally got a shot at the welterweight king, a fighter who had defeated him before. What is going to be different tomorrow night when you defend your title? So much has been said, Leon said a lot, and he truly believes that. But one thing I have to say is, taking what from who? Hey, Donnie, get into your stance. Make a small target, turn sideways. Okay. You see this guy here staring back at you? Yeah. That's your toughest opponent. Every time you get into the ring, that's who you're going against. I believe that in boxing, and I do believe that in life. The headline act of UFC 278 featured Leon Edwards versus the Nigerian nightmare Kamar Usman. Edwards had a great first round where he took the perfect takedown defense record of the champion. But in the following rounds, Usman began to pressure. By the fifth round, a decision victory seemed like a virtual certainty. Leon was down three rounds to one, and every person in the building thought that he was mentally broken. But the commentators were constantly praising Usman as the best fighter ever. Ringside analyst Dean Thomas proclaimed that Edwards was psychologically broken. If it wasn't obvious enough, Leon is broken. You're ashamed, and he's embarrassed right now of his own performance. This is how you know a fighter is broken, and Leon right now is broken. His own coach was yelling at him, anger, disappointment apparent in his tone. Leon Edwards down, but he was not out. Oh, man, what's wrong with you? You're too now you gotta pull the out of the fire. In the closing minutes of a fight that he was losing, Edwards landed a kick flush to the head of the champion and the welterweight division woke up from the Nigerian nightmare. After years and years of dominance, Kamar Usman was dethroned by the unlikeliest champion in recent memory. I don't even know what to say. It was spectacular. We saw so much happen tonight and it was absolutely spectacular. I don't even know what to say at this moment right now. It was spectacular. The same man he defeated with comparative ease years ago. A guy with the moniker of Rocky. You know, this felt like a movie. The UFC staff played the Rocky theme after the fight. And during the Rocky theme, Leon is on the on the cage celebrating with the belt in the crowd yelling, Rocky, Rocky. It, it was a movie. It would take a whole lot to live up to the name of Rocky. But Leon Edwards, after years of struggle, inside and outside the octagon, did just that. Against a dominant champion. Against all odds. Against the entire world. Does this ring a bell? Me, me accomplishing this not just me. I said it all week and just me. Because I know people that grew up where I grew up. I'm gonna go to Jamaica as well and just show the kids that look. I was born just like you was born. But nothing thinking of it. In essence, the character of Rocky personifies grit, heart, and perseverance. And that is exactly what Leon Edwards is all about. At UFC 278, Edwards had the perfect Rocky moment. And we will be talking about this for years and years to come.